Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer 3D, where we just bought a can of coke. Uh, now, apparently, uh, I was doing everything right in Judas's house. Uh, you can see there, by the way, I figured out Sprint, it's actually Caps Lock. Um, for some reason I wrote down that Caps Lock um, is for Spring on my notes, not Sprint, so that's my fault. But that makes a lot of sense, so yeah, we can trigger Caps Locks to make him Sprint. Annoyingly, it does put that little A thing on the screen, so that's a bit of a shame that's going to pick up on the recordings. Uh, but yeah, apparently, the, is it the Chikara, whatever it was in that little area? Apparently we can actually get that. Um, we just had to be in the right position while crouching down, so... I guess we'll try and do that. Was it this way? Actually, is this where we've just come from? Man, the running animation is kind of uh, funny, isn't it? I like that you get like a little wind up though. He doesn't just go straight into a sprint. He does a little jog and then goes into sprint. All right, let's head back into this house. I also want to see if there's anything else we can be doing in this area. I don't know if there's like any other characters we can meet or anything. Oh, it's very dark in here. So yeah, apparently like we want to go into crouch which is Z, so it's like this, and then we just want to get into the right position so that we can interact with something. So I don't know if it's like just a bit fiddly. So yeah, so Z is crouched, so we're crouched now. So we just, I think we just need to get to the point where it shows something on the, the eye. Ah, there we go, okay. Ooh, looks like a naughty magazine. Okay, can we get that? Hey, look what I found! Ah, there we go. That's it then. This must be the Chikara. Cool. Okay, so that is the Chikara. So that's what I'm guessing we need. Hi. Oh. How's it going? Really well. Want to see this religious naughty magazine? <laughs> Certainly not. I am here to tell you about the Chikara. If you equip it and then use the Use Object button, you will change view to the targeting mode. Right. In this mode, you can aim it and press the action button to fire it at things. What's the point of that? It can help you press or pull things too far away to reach. Sometimes it will wind around objects and let you fetch things from a distance. Ah. To clear out of targeting mode, hit the use object button. Gotcha. Oh, and you should use it to steal a peach straight away. Otherwise, you could be stuck here for ages. Right. Okay, so, well, she's saying we should do it straight away, but I kind of want to explore. I don't, I don't know if they're... Whoa, okay. <laughs> the sprint is very sudden. <laughs> so, we want to... We want to use that, I'm guessing, to, like, lasso the peach from the tree. Oh, okay. Yeah, see, that, like, frame rate drop like that is very irritating. That's apparently just a performance thing with the game. Uh, so we've spoken to that dude over there, we've been to the shop, the tree is over there, this is where we came out of. Is there anything up here? Oh! Much later. Uh, okay. Woman there. trips over hedgehog in Fendel Moor, oh impales self on scissors. It's, it's very laggy here. What, what's this? Is this like a... a te oh, it's a telescope. Okay. I should be able to get a great view through this. Alright, can we use it? Oops. I guess we broke it. Oops. Oh. What what happened there? Did we pick that up? Oh we did, yeah. The tube of a telescope's got a big hole in one end and a small hole in the other, and we've also got the lens, the magnifying lens from a telescope. We've kept the magazine as well. Okay. Alright, well, is there... Oh god, it's very laggy up here. Uh, is there anything we can do? No, no... Ooh, can we fall down there? Hopefully not. Okay, there's a guy up here and a bell. Boy, does he look tired. Okay, this guy's tired. Uh, would you mind stopping hitting that thing? I've got a headache. This is the soul bell. Is that supposed to mean something to me? Hang on. The soul bell. What? Man drowns in a vat of custard. <laughs> right. Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, what are you... What talk? are you talking about? Two die from knife wounds to the back. Okay, so he rings that any time somebody dies, I'm guessing? 
Are you some kind of sick weirdo? I am called the Bell Keeper. Keeper of the Bell. Right. And what exactly do you do? I am responsible for the keeping of the bell. Of course you are. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. Whenever a life is ended untimely in the world, the souls of the dead are released but have no place on the other side. The ringing of the soul bell guides them here to be absorbed by the sacred tree. What a load of codswallops. <laughs> I have held the honoured post of bellkeeper for the last seven years, never pausing or resting even for a moment. Man chokes to death on fish bone. It's an unfortunate way to go. Right, so I don't know if you guys can see, but like the game really lags big time when it's on Simon, but when it switches to that guy, the other camera, it's completely smooth and clean. I, I, I don't know what the reasoning behind that is. But like it lags it to the point where selecting a dialogue option is even laggy. Seven years, man, you must be tired. Seven years? Man, you must be really tired. Yes. Yes, I am. It's only thanks to Coca-Cola that I'm awake at all. <laughs> Product placement. What happens if you fall asleep? Oh, the end of the universe. Oh. Really? Yeah. It's written. I mean, we got a cola. What happens if I ring the bell at the wrong time? game please what happens if i ring the bell at the wrong time well probably something bad i don't know exactly i never dared to try ah well, maybe we can do that where's it written where's it written oh you know just generally written about the place uh <sighs> okay you're feeling very sleepy you are feeling sleepy. Very, very sleepy. Yes, very sleepy. Yes, go to sleep. Oh, he has gone to sleep. Whoa! Oh. But I won't fall asleep. My duty is too important. Okay. Uh, can I borrow the bell? Can I borrow the bell? I need it for something. Over my dead body. How about over your sleeping body? <laughs> Is that a threat? We shall see. Yeah, we haven't decided yet, I'm guessing. Alright, enough of this nonsense. Yeah, well, enough of this nonsense. Thanks for taking an interest. Interest is not the word. Alright, well, uh, can we... Can we give him the... The drink? It's a can of soda. I mean, he said it keeps him awake, right? So do we want to give him that? I really must be going. I really must be going. <sighs> okay, maybe not. All right, well, for now we'll leave him. Uh, we'll remember that he potentially wants... Oh, okay. Oh, God, and the... again! The lagging is very annoying, isn't it? I, d I don't get why it does that. It's just poorly optimised, I think. Like, certain parts of the map are very clean and smooth and others are awful. <laughs> Anyway, let's see if we can use this, uh, this thing, the Chikara. So how do we use this alt? Oh, okay. And then what do we do, just use it again? What did it say? Oh, I can't remember what the woman said now. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright, well, can we, can we get that peach that fell down? We can! Alright. Do we just eat it? I hate peaches. Okay. Can we just use the peach? Oh, I think we can. I hate these things. Did, did we do it? Sounds like we did it. Cool. It's nice to be totally solid again. Okay, I wonder well, who's going to take the rap for me stealing that peach. Yeah, who should we blame? It's great to be natural on my legs. Man! Yes. Kill the human oppressor, my loyal comrades! Bonsai! Kill! Ah! Ah! Oh, my skull is malfunctioning! Oh my god. <laughs> That's <was> brutal. <laughs> was that the woodworm as well from the previous two oh, games? Well, can't have been anyone important. 
Nah, it'll be fine. You know, how do we leave this place then? Let's hit caps. Yeah, it's a shame that's going to bring up that little weight at the top every time. I can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. All right, can we leave now that we're whole? Or oh, there is somebody here. Oh, oh, oh. Is is he blocking us? I, I, could, could you could you not block me, please? I'm trying to get out. Okay. All right. Can we back up enough to have a look at him or anything? Can we? I'm ready to go now. Have you eaten the fruit of the sacred peach tree? Yeah, we have. Yep. Then you may pass. Thank you. Oh well, that's. We can head out. Alright, can we speak to the priest guy before we go? Is he a priest? I can't, pff, I can't even remember to be honest, but this guy. He was the one who told us about the peach anyway, so I just want to see if he says anything. I, um, ate a sacred peach. Excellent child. You may now safely leave the grounds of the temple. Go carefully and face your destiny. Um, okay. Oh, was that okay? That, well, that wasn't worth it, was it? <laughs> Fair enough. So, what's the deal with the guy on the roof? Do, do we just not need to worry about that? Maybe that's just not even really a thing. I don't. I don't know. Do you have anything else to say, or are you? Feel free to come and go as you please. Just remember, the gates are locked at sunset. Okay. The gates are locked at sunset. We can come and go as we please. Apparently. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> that looks amazing out there. <laughs> uh, fine, maybe we didn't need to do anything about the guy on the roof? Because apparently we're on, to, we're on to chapter two now, so there we have it. Um, oh god, it's very laggy here. Hopefully it will... Oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's borderline unplayable. It is borderline unplayable. I think... I think we should be alright. What does this say? Okay, Polyganis looks like it's that way. But we can't actually look at this thing. So it looks like Polyganis is... Oh, there we go. Okay, fine. We just need to get past that little laggy section there. And now we're... We're on our... What's this? Is this just a... Okay, that's just a fence, I think. What's what's this? I, I, I wonder if like the sprinting makes it more laggy. What's this? Warning. It says, beware of the woodwork. <laughs> okay, it is the woodwork. Ooh, scary. Woodworm, what? attack! Please don't. What? Ow! <laughs> Quick, men, it's stronger than we thought. Fall back, fall back! Oh, okay. Well, I guess we needed that. Strange. So I don't know if you can get soft locked in this game or if there are dead ends like Sierra style I'm hoping that you can't because if you can then I wonder if we were meant to do something on the roof of that um, tomb with the guy in the bell that we potentially might have missed and might have got ourselves stuck but for now we'll just carry on I mean if I have then feel free to let me know in the comments below if we've like soft locked ourselves because no one wants to see me backtracking episodes uh, right Polyganis this way that's where he said to go wasn't it oh yeah see look this bit's smooth it's weird like parts of the game work so well and parts of it are just dreadful i have no idea what determines that it just feels like it might have just been a you know <laughs> a roughly made game in all honesty what is that in that tube is that just is that relevant in any way or is it just like an animation for the the loading screen <laughs> time will tell i suppose Right, let's head this way. Someone was saying over on Reddit as well that this game reminds them of um, a Nintendo 64 game, and yeah, I can absolutely see that. It, it does feel like a, an N64 game in a lot of ways. What is... What is this? Was there something there? Did I just see something? What is that? Is it just something? Oh, it's just a butterfly or something, I think. Alright, there's like nothing here. Except for this. Oh, wait, is this the way? 
There's another phone box here. What's the deal with all the phone boxes? This one isn't broken, though. Simon? We can't look at it. Oh, we can... Okay. Oh, my... Uh... Oh, is it a is it a fast travel system? But we can like fast travel to places we've not been. Fair enough. Right, what have we got here? We've got some sort of cow and somebody sitting on a rock. Um, but we will talk to them in the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tony Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Johncom555, Chrissy, Paul James, and Zoltes, and I'll see you next time.